All right, guys, welcome to Alpha Ferg uh, Casting. This is UC Davis. XSplit Core wants to use Skype. I'll allow it. Um, so we're going to go into a second game here. This is going to be Suppy versus Ruxin, uh, a game played fairly recently. And let's hope that Ruxin's Dota 2 All Star Master skills will be enough to get rid of Suppy. Because Suppy is very good. Suppy uh, has been playing very impressively lately. He is going to the World Championship Series in MLG Anaheim this coming weekend, and I'm excited to see what that uh, does, but here is a game between Suppy and Ruxin. Ruxin is a UC Davis Grandmaster Zerg. He's a very good player, and Suppy, of course, playing for UC Berkeley. There's a lot of history between these two teams. In Season 4, Berkeley was in the lead in the division. They were in the same division, and uh, unfortunately, um, a little snafu happened and Berkeley had to forfeit a few games and Davis jumped up they used that opportunity they got into fourth place they got into the playoffs and lost almost immediately but that's okay because in season five uh, in the playoffs Berkeley and UC Davis met up again and Berkeley was the only team to defeat no yeah Berkeley was the only team to defeat UC Davis in the season five and knocked him out of the playoffs Davis you know settled with being top 20 in the West, which totally sucks, because uh, they probably could have gone farther, but you know what? Berkeley played their hearts out and got a well-deserved victory, and all because of Suppy right here, who is the Berkeley coordinator, a very good player. And so we'll see how this ZVZ develops. Looks like Suppy is taking an early gas. Wouldn't be surprised to see a pool going down very shortly. Meanwhile, Ruxin is uh, not doing anything. He's just building drones and OVs right now. That's totally okay. And it looks like here is the 200 gap mineral. And there is the spawning pool. Pretty standard stuff. The gas spawning pool. And meanwhile, Ruxin's going to fast expand down to his natural uh, at the 15 mark. And that's going to be pretty darn good. I like that on this map. It's a really long rush distance. And if you can hold it, it's not too small of a choke. But if you can get a spine crawler here or maybe even on the high ground to defend your main, you can uh, hold the base pretty, pretty confidently. Uh, so we'll see how this game develops if this early gas, it looks like Suppy's definitely getting early gas 3 already. Once he gets 100 minerals, or 100 gas, we should see that Zergling speed upgrade going down. Meanwhile, Ruxin getting his spawning pool as well. It's going to be uh, delayed about half a minute, but that's okay because this rush distance is about half a minute. So he'll be able to build an equal number of Zerglings and should be able to hold as long as... Uh, he doesn't lose this base. He should be fine. If he doesn't lose a queen, he should be fine. And it looks like he's throwing down gas as well. So it's all going to be good. And because he didn't throw down so many buildings, he's actually a little bit ahead in the drone count as well. So it's definitely fine to fast expand on this kind of map. Uh, just know what you need to do to hold it. It looks like Suppy C. Suppy's going to expand as well behind this early rush. So both players are not too focused on winning the game in the first five minutes, which is always a good sign that they're good. Uh, queen coming out for Suppy, Speed coming out as well. As I mentioned, the first Queen, of course, is on the way for Ruxin as well. Looks like Suppy's going to build a second Queen almost immediately on the hatchery, which is a good sign. I like Queens. They're uh, especially better now that they have the uh, ranged ground attack. They decided that instead of trying to reach out and punch their opponents, they can just shoot them with the same bullets that they throw up into the air. Probably good evolution move for the Zerg. And it looks like these overlords are just hanging out. They're talking. They're talking about the uh, incredible trips they took over here. Uh-oh. What did Blue say to piss off the red overlord? Come on. Come on, Ruxin. Why are you so BM? Overlords pissing off Suppy's overlords. Anyways, this game is, uh, you know, it's pretty safe. It's spying exactly where it can defend all sort of entrances. And with the lings here, he can hold off the push. This is kind of the timing Suppy wants. He wants to get in here with his early speed. The queens here are expertly placed. Um, on the ramp to prevent any links from getting up. One of the drones does go down, but that's all really that Suppy can do right now. He can't really engage this higher number of Zerglings, and if he tries to run out, he's going to take more damage. Losing uh, just one Ling there, not too bad at all, but you know what? Once Ruxin's speed finishes, it'll even out pretty well, and he'll be able to drone up pretty hard on this uh, bottom expansion. Meanwhile, Suppy now has his expansion as well. He's got the queens, he's got spine crawlers going up. And he's droning hard too, so both players are, are playing very safe and very conservatively, which I like. Looks like Ruxin's choosing the first kind of tech upgrade. He's throwing out a Baneling Nest, which I like. Um, he might be trying to do a nice two-base Ling all-in once he has these drones up and working down here. <laughs> these guys are having a party. 
Uh, he can go and try to do just one good baneling hit and reduce the drone count and pull ahead of in the game that way. And But it looks like Suppy's actually preparing very well against that kind of move. He's throwing out an evolution chamber here. He's kind of creating a semi-quasi wall here that will help defend. And it looks like now the speedling on speedling action as uh, what? I selected the rocks and you focus on the rocks. Come on, man. Come on. No, not the automaton. Here we go. Zoom. Yeah. I don't know why it focuses on the rocks there. Why does it even select the rocks? I hate rocks. This isn't Minecraft. Anyways. So both players are uh, just having some fun with their lings. Not really going to make too much of an advantage at this point in the game, but if you do kill off enough lings, then you can always do a push and it'll be that much stronger because there aren't that many lings or bane lings to defend. Look at this wall. I mean, this is the kind of stuff. Um, actually, this is familiar from when Ruxin lost against Suppy on Cloud Kingdom in the UC Davis versus UC Berkeley playoff match because this is exactly what Suppy did to hold it. And Ruxin ran right, right in with a huge all in and didn't do enough damage and lost. Uh, so definitely reminiscent of that. It looks like uh, these nice blue banelings. I love the co stronger color mod. You can very clearly see the difference between the two units um, on the map. You can see the overlords, of course, flying around over here. So let's take a look at the tech. It looks like Supp Suppy has elected to go into the roaches. He has the double evo chambers, of course, so we can start getting the uh, armor and there. Yep, armor and range attack upgrades, which I really love in Zerg play. In the meantime, it looks like uh, Ruxin is actually going to go the same kind of thing, and he's even building a wall up here. It looks like he might have even scouted it or something just because he's doing it. No, but what he is doing is getting an earlier third than Suppy, and Suppy's going to throw down his third as well at the same time. It looks like neither player is too committed to pushing, but Suppy's going to have a lot of roaches on the map. He already built a handful. He has uh, five, and Ruxin is actually going to be trying to catch up to that number. Already sending out some uh, drones to do a little studying over here. Um, and Ruxin's a little ahead right now. But in ZVZ, that can all turn at the flip of a switch if one baneling hits or uh, your roaches get caught out of place. Um, yeah, and see, Suppy, of course, is going to be jumping in the lead. Both players are starting to power into roaches, both players getting high, both players getting roach upgrades. So this is going to be a pretty pretty slow game for the next five minutes or so until that roach speed upgrade gets researched because then you can really attack with roaches and move them back to defend if need be. And you never want to attack and not have a uh, defensive option from it. You never want to send all your units across unless you're completely all inning and are confident you can win the base trade. Because if you can't, then you lose the entire game. So uh, picking off some of the lings, not spending a bane ling, very smart to do it that way. And Suppy and Ruxton are now both firmly trying to get their third economies up. Suppy's a little bit ahead. And lots of roaches are coming out for both players. It looks like uh, Su Ruxton has a little bit of lead. He does have the bane lings as well. And in fact, he just has a larger army in general. He's a little bit behind in the drone count, but... So what Suppy has ahead of Ruxin are these upgrades. He has plus two, plus two going at the same time that Ruxin only has plus one, plus one. So that is why there is a discrepancy there. Both players are fairly even though. And holy, Ruxin is building a lot of roaches. Um, it's starting to hit that 120-ish range where Zerg start to just power max. In a few minutes, they'll both be totally maxed. Uh, they may leave some supply open if they choose to tech to something like Infestors. Uh, I don't think we'll be seeing Spire. These layers have been down for a while now, and usually when you see a Spire, you see it almost immediately after the layer finishes. But I wouldn't be surprised to see an Infestation Pit go down, especially for Suppy, as he wants to get those 3-3 upgrades, and you need, need a Hive to do so, and to get a Hive, you need an Infestation Pit. But nothing too crazy. It looks like Suppy's just throwing a few links here or there just to get some good scouting on, get a sense of how big this army is. Both players actually stay in on 5 gas, which seems to be the current metagame for how much gas a Zerg need to produce a kind of roach upgrade heavy army. Don't need that. Don't need to waste the extra 4 drones on that. 
And it looks like here comes the first big push. Let's take a quick look at the army size before it hits. 40-ish roaches for both players. Uh, Ruxin does have a s slight zergling lead, but these banelings are actually what might make a difference if they get a good hit out on the drones. It could be huge, and here comes the push. It looks like he's just going to pull back. That was... Uh, maybe a feint. He's sending his lings up into the natural, so he's trying to keep the army busy here. The lings are actually getting up to the main. Oh my gosh, the lings are going to start killing a lot. They're killing drones. They might even kill a queen. And here comes the push with the roaches. A huge surround for Suppy. He's going to do a lot of damage to these roaches for Ruxin. Uh, I don't know who's going to come out ahead, but look at all these drones killed. Ten drones killed here. And Ruxin is forced to run away, even losing the baneling. Um, and Suppy now is ahead in the lead in supply, but he's behind in the drones. These uh, Zerglings did enough damage here. They almost killed the Queen as well. Uh, and unfortunately, these Roaches are going to have to run all the way back home. But here is the reinforcements for Ruxin. He is ahead. And what he really is afraid of is uh, this plus two plus two is about to finish, and Ruxin's only at plus one plus one. So this Roach army is a lot better, and it's a lot bigger right now. So, Ruxin has to be careful. He can't lose right now. Uh, he's nice. He's getting a good contain, a decent one. Now it's complete, and he's going to be able to chase out these roaches. But plus two, plus two. He doesn't want to run in like that. You can see he loses a handful very quickly. And he's trying to get a good concave here, but looks like it's pretty even. These roaches are trading. Suppy looks like he's not going to be able to win, but he does have the uh, supply upgrade and the upgrade advantage. And this is really just plus two, plus two zero roaches against plus one, plus one. You can see that Ruxins are just falling, and it looks to be pretty even, but that's because all of Ruxins' reinforcements are moving in here, whereas Suppy's reinforcements are moving across the map. So Suppy should have a larger unit count. But it looks like both players are going to back off. They don't want to invest too much into this roach war because they don't feel like they have a lead. And now is the time where I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, an infestation pit going thrown down in this lull, but it looks like neither player elects to do so. And Ruxin needs to get this plus two armor started. He does have plus one attack finish, but I don't know. It could be very close. It looks like his defender's advantage is actually starting to make a difference. And, oh, I see what happened. Rux Suppy spent a lot of uh, larva on drones for a second to re-get an economy up here, and that's causing... Ruxin's army to be a lot bigger and oh my gosh no he's throwing down burrow and infestation pit at the same time but Ruxin's moving out and he has a very definitive supply lead right now he's ahead by about 20 Suppy's gonna have to build an army really quickly to defend this it looks like he'll be able to do so he has larva he is uh, only 20 supply right now he should be able to build another handful of roaches to close up that gap but he's trying to get a fourth as well and it's gonna go down almost immediately uh, it's not a well-timed fourth losing the drone as well um so Ruxin's actually playing pretty aggressively right now, sending a few roaches up here to kind of try to faint, but these roaches were not in position to move into the third, and oh no, catching some of the roaches, oh, this is a mess, I don't even know what to look at, look at, this is a very nice flank for Suppy, he has these four roaches in the back just pulling some of the fire, but another flank, a counter flank for Ruxin is moving in as well. It looks like the plus one armor is just proving to be a little bit more beneficial for Suppy, and his supply is now a little bit ahead, but check that thought. Both players building huge amounts of roaches in the background, but you know what? Suppy just finished Burrow, and that means when this fight is over, he can just Burrow his army and regenerate a lot of health. So this is going to get scary. Ruxin only starting the plus two. Uh, ground carapace right now and you know what Suppy has infestors at his beck and call once he gets the gas you can see he does take that fifth gas he will try to get a fourth base so he just has a ton of gas and he can just pump out infestors which do so much damage in roach armies but we'll see if he's able to do that he has not built an infestor yet he has not started that oh so important uh, pathogen glands upgrade to get those just that early fungal but he should be able to do it soon chooses to do so and he's trying to re-establish this fourth as well it's going to be tricky to hold and there's the pathogen glance up he's definitely looking at getting infestors this last gas here is going to start paying off in the gas count and now that they're both supply uh supply capped uh, Suppy's gas should start to skyrocket he'll trade a few roaches and then he'll build infestors and he'll try to do some damage with this attack if he can take down the third that would be the best 
and he's going to try to do it. It looks like there are still a few roaches hiding back here, but Suppy is not going to do that. It looks like Ruxin is also going to take this opportunity to build an infestation pit as well, but he's, his infestors are going to be so much later. So we'll have to see where that comes off. Uh, this hatchery is almost finished, and if it gets up and gets established, if there's spine crawlers in the front, if uh, Suppy can hold it, it could be very bad for Ruxin, but it looks like here's going to be the fight. Oh no, he's moving into the army. Oh my gosh, he loses a handful of roaches there for practically nothing. And he's going to be forced to run away. Uh, both players, he still doesn't have this plus two armor. Uh, and Suppy is building his first infestors. Ruxin's getting Burrow as well. This is not looking good for Ruxin. He does have a spine crawler here. Ru Suppy's not going to want to run up this wall. I mean, this one spine crawler doesn't mean much of a difference, but the combination of getting concaved, uh, trying to force your way up a ramp. And his overlord is not in a good position. He doesn't see this push. And Suppy is getting a great position here. He's uh, starting to get concaved, but and the spine crawler is going to work, and Suppy's just going to run away. But he did a ton of damage there, and he freed up a lot of supply. You can see now he has a bunch of infestors. He has two, eight up more on the way, and they're going to all have a fungal. That's ten fungals to deal with, and if it keeps going on, there's infested terrans, there's ugly things. And his fourth is now established. It looks like both players are running very so short in supply. Uh, a nice run by in here. It's not going to do too much damage. Maybe it'll take out a queen. Never mind. Uh, but Ruxin needs a third base to mine off of. He needs to take a fourth very soon um, because these drones are going to start just not working very hard and he's not going to be able to keep up in the roach count. You can see his, uh, his, what is it? His economy is not being able to keep up. Uh, it's very behind in suppies, even though they're even in the drone count. The numbers just don't add up because this fourth is so great to have with this extra gas. There's a ton of infestors out on the field now for suppy, and he's getting a hive. He'll be able to go to the plus three attack very much earlier. Wow, that was horrible English. Much sooner than Ruxin. Ruxin's behind. That's uh, about the, all there is to it. And if he gets caught with a fungal, he could lose even more roaches. <sighs> it's getting scary. So, uh, Ruxin is now taking this this third, this sixth gas, but he doesn't have any roaches, uh, any drones in it. And look at this! This is a dual attack right here to try to catch Ruxin. Uh, Ruxin has his whole army up here in the north, but he does have a few units down here in the south to defend, and it looks like he's going to have to do an excellent split. He is controlling his army very well. Here comes the majority of the roaches, but it hasn't killed too much. It's been caught out of bounds. Ruxin, attack! He's not moving. Uh, a good fungal there catches a lot of Suppy's drones. Where are Suppy's infestors? They're all caught back here. They're not doing anything, and a lot of the roaches are going down for Suppy. The Ruxin is uh, trying to stay alive right now, and oh my gosh, a huge fungal going down on Ruxin's roaches, and some infested terrans popping out for Ruxin. But he needs to throw down a fungal, man. He doesn't have any fungals. These roaches are doing so much damage. They are cleaning up Ruxin's roach. And Suppy is 50 supply ahead. And he's even taking six more infestors. The Hydra Den just finishing. These uh, infestors just have so much more energy. They're able to deal with so much more. Uh, but it looks like the reinforcement roaches for Ruxin are now getting in here. And able to take out a handful of uh, infestors as well. And with this Overseer, he's going to actually be able to kill a lot, but he overextended a little bit. These infested Terrans and Roach reinforcements now coming in. Suppy's 100 supply ahead right now. He's building so much more. He has, you know, Hydralisk upgrades coming out, and he has Hive. He's going to be able to get 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I don't see how Ruxin can keep up unless he's done some significant econ economic damage, but he doesn't have any units on the right side of the base. This is getting scary. He's just starting to lose more and more, and Ruxin is just going to GG well played. You can really see in this game how the economies of both players alter their unit composition and alter their upgrades, and how Suppy did use um, some early economic advantage and decision making. And he was weak. He was getting totally pushed, but he held fine. He was getting pushed uh, into this third. He got you know some lings into the main, killing some drones. But you know what? He came out ahead in the gas, and he definitely used it to his advantage. So many more infestors, so many more roaches, and he had a totally solid uh, tech behind it. He had the hive here. He had a uh, hydralisk somewhere. Uh, there it is. And you know what? You can't fight back when you're that far behind. Suppy, very well played. I'll forget out.